Hey everyone, Captain Mike here with J-Way from the Skyway Misfits and we have some very exciting news we'd like to share with everyone. Today we're here at Reef and Reel in St. Petersburg, Florida. We're also going to start our first tutorial video today, if many to come in the future. But without further ado, I'd like to introduce Kevin, the manager here at Reef and Reel, to share some exciting news with you as well. Yeah, we're very excited to be partnering with the Skyway Misfits and we want to extend an offer out to all you guys out there that you can either use in-store over here at the Reef and Reel store, which is 3350 Tyrone Boulevard North in St. Petersburg, or you can go onto our website, which is reefandreel.com. Uh, it's gonna be 15% off any Reef and Reel goods and apparel. Um, all you gotta do is use the code MISFITS15, all spelled out, MISFITS15, or just come into the store and mention the Skyway Misfits and we can take care of you uh, that way as well. Thank Looking you. forward to it. Thank you so much for that, Kevin. And we do look forward to this future relationship. So without further ado, let's talk about the tutorial today. Today we're gonna to be tying a PR bobbin knot. So there are many different knots that you can use to tie your braided line to your leader line. There's uni to unis, Albright knots, FGs. This particular knot we have found to be indestructible and bulletproof. So what you will need is you'll need the Shimano bobbin tool, you'll need your 100, 100 pound braid that we'll be using for the video today, the 100 pound leader material, a cutter, and a lighter to finish off the knot. So let's jump right in. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our braided line, come through the eye of the bobbin tool, piece out of there. I'm going to come over the spool and back around the grommet to the top. Take and pull tight so that it seats inside the grommet. And what I like to do with this tool is I like to wind the line back onto the spool. And you want to get enough to work with. Now, once you have enough line on the spool, take your leader material here. And essentially what you wanna do is you wanna lay it over top of your braided line. And just for the purpose of the video, we're gonna leave enough excess here to work with. So I like to pinch this off right at the end of the eye on the bobbin tool. And what you wanna do is let it hang and you wanna just start to swing the bobbin tool over the mono material. Now, as you can see, these tight coils are going down on the leader material. Now, once you go up roughly about an inch to an inch and a half, what I like to do is take and pull a little bit away to where we start to come back on it. And I just wanna start and make three turns. Okay, and then from there, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start winding the line back against the braid. Get ourselves some room there. As you can see, it starts to come back down the braided line. As you can see, we're at the very end here. Pull it back off. Give ourselves some room there again. Now you wanna take both your braid and the leader material, just a single overhand knot. And this, and you wanna make sure these knots are very, very tight. Your first two knots that you'll tie. You can see how tight the cools are where I've cinched it down. Now is what you'll do is you'll just reverse the next overhand knot. And cinch this one down tight as well. And 
once you have the knots seated, what I like to do, and there's different ways to do this, there's different videos out there on the internet today, but what I like to do is separate the two, and I wanna lock this knot based on the braid here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna make sure everybody can see this. Got one, two, three times. Also this knot, you wanna tie this super tight. Pull that tight like so. Now you have your two tag ends. That's where your cutters come in handy here. I'm gonna cut about an eighth of an inch both lines and then you'll take your lighter and just what you want to do is on your leader material you want to burn just enough to where a head forms on the leader material you can flatten it out a little bit and what this is going to do is as the leader material goes back through the coils it will catch on the coils and cinch down tighter we're just going to burn our end here Pull everything super tight. Make sure everything is seated. And there you have it. We have found this knot to be absolutely bulletproof. We have fished for it with tarpon, grouper, snapper, you name it, we've tried it. Have not been able to bust this knot yet. So hopefully this video helps everybody today. Uh, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the rest of the misfits when we have new videos post and thanks for watching today guys